Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, first of all, a very well, warm welcome to the Sheikh. And uh, as I believe, uh, words lead to materialism or modernism in the world, especially in the Western world, because the religions, they believe they do not offer a solution to the life and problems to life, because this is just a belief, not in a perfect system of life. And as Islam is in a perfect system of life, how Islam can fill this gap which is created by these all things. How Islam can uh, fill this gap? Thanks a lot. Okay, uh, a good question, a good point, in fact. Uh, why people in Europe are running out or away from religion? Yeah? And uh, I wrote about it by coincidence. <laughs> I wrote about it recently as a result of the decrees of the number of uh, Christians in the UK. Uh, it was 75 and it decreased to 59. And as I told you, the humanists and atheists, they say that even it is not 59. We do not believe it is far less than this. And uh, they have a point. Uh, I mentioned that if the religion, if the religion is not a correct religion does not meet your spiritual needs as well as your individual needs as well as the societal needs as well as all needs it will not make sense so when they see for example yeah uh, that in Christianity the definition of God is not clear the definition of God is not clear in Christianity uh, because we have God, we have the Son, and we have the Spirit. There is no clear distinction between them. Yes? And whom do we worship? Now this will make people hate the principle of God. What is this? We don't know who God is. This is an example. The other example is, God never told us how to worship him. And the nature of a human beings, they need to worship. They need to worship something they don't see. Power. Yeah? Power. That they don't see. They need to worship it. That's why atheists, in a way, they worship nature. Because they believe that nature has this superpower, yeah, or at least some of them. So if that is a need for human beings, now they need Christianity or Judaism to fill, uh, fill that need, fill that gap. So if they see that it doesn't fill this gap, it doesn't fill that need, then really we hate it, we don't want it. We don't want it, we reject it. Moreover, if they see that the clergy, you know the clergy, the, the, the clergy, religious people, yeah, yeah. yeah the religious the people, huh? the mullah elite, the mullahs. No, 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 the clergy in, in the Christian system, huh? clerks, clergy system, clerks, yeah, okay, they have power to interpret the text as they want yeah and normal people cannot approach the text then they will say that oh they are human beings why they have power over us so they will hate religion and this is one of the main reasons why people in Europe started to hate religion because of the abuse that took place in the uh, in the in the sixties in the sixteenth century seventeenth century by the clergy or the clerks or the religious people, so they started to hate religion. If they see that religion is a set of very strict guidelines that do not promote science, do not promote inventions, do not promote kind of freedom, they will hate this system that is giving them these kind of restrictions. Because of this, they left it. And many non-Muslims, by the way, they think Islam is the same. And that's why, uh, for some non-Muslims, we have to understand their viewpoint. 
for some non-Muslims, we need to understand them and to be uh, what you call to sympathize. You know, sympathize. Yeah, sympathize with them because their background is different from our background. They hate religion because of what they have seen, by that what they have seen as an abuse by the clergy or the religious people. So when we try to tell them that Islam is not like this, Islam is not that restricted, Islam will not imprison your mind. Islam is a rational religion, Islam does make sense and we need to articulate this, then they will start to appreciate it step by step. I hope that the point is clear.